$145,425. That's a lot of money. Come on, somebody. <coughs> to every man according to his several ability and straightway took his job. And see, you got to understand, don't miss this. It was a one, two, and a five. And we're still complaining about what we see other people have. Man. But he gave unto them five talents, two talents, one talent. And if you want God to trust you with more, you got to be faithful in what God gave you with the one. Come on, somebody. Oh, I feel like preaching. I want to teach this thing, but I feel a preach. I feel a preach in my back. But your faithfulness is going to bring greater blessings to your house. Tell your neighbor, my faithfulness, my faithfulness is going to bring greater blessings to my house. So come on, read, come on, read, come on, read. Verse 16. Uh -huh. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents. Uh -huh. He went and got some more. Amen. He went, he went and made more. He, he understood that he had to do more with what he had. Ain't nobody going to say amen right here. Ah, come on, I don't want to preach before I get through this. Come on, come on. And likewise, he that had received two he also gained other two. He also gained two more. Come on. But he that had received one uh -huh. went and digged in the earth. What he did? He digged in the earth. He digged in the earth. And hid his Lord's money. He hid the money. All right. He hid the gift. Yeah. He hid the talent. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Amen. Somebody got to get this tonight. Yeah. You walking around here with gifts and talents and you're hiding. Right. You don't want nobody to know you got the gifts and the talents. Because you don't want to use it for God's glory. Yeah. Come on, somebody. See, when you were over on the wrong side, when you were serving the devil, you were singing in the club. Yeah. Ain't nobody going to say yeah. amen right yeah. here. You were dancing. You were doing everything. Yeah. You were rapping. You were doing everything you could do. But since you stepped over on the Lord's side, yeah. you don't forgot about your gifts and your talents. Yeah. I ain't going to get no amen right there. Yeah. I'm not going to get no amen yeah. right there. But tell somebody my faithfulness. It's going to bring a greater blessing to my house. Come on, come on, read. Verse 19. After a long time, uh -huh. the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. In other words, he came and compared their accounts. He wanted to know what they did with the talents. Come on. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. Yes, yes, yes. In other words, God is saying, you're going to render to me what is due to me. Yes. If you're going to give Caesar his, you're going to give me mine. Right. Come on, somebody. Right. We got a problem with giving God what's due to him. Right. We ain't got no problem with going down there and paying the man downtown. Come on, somebody. Right. You ain't got no problem putting some gas in your car. Amen. You ain't got no problem paying that bill, but you don't want to give God what's due to him. You better render to Caesar what's due to Caesar, but you render to God what's due to him. Amen. Come on, somebody. Ah, uh, come on. First Peter 4 and 10 and 11 says it like this, and I'm reading the NIV. It says, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. So you thought you had a gift for you. You thought God gave you that voice for you. You thought he gave you that money for you. I ain't going to get no amens right there. You got to serve others. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. As faithful stewards yeah. over God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. Yeah. Talking to us preachers right there. Right. Ain't nobody going to say amen right there. Yeah. But I like this part right here. It says, if anyone serve, as your neighbor, are you serving? Yes. They should do so with yes. the strength God provides. So that in all things God may be praised through Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. Don't miss that. Because some of us ain't served in a long time. Oh God. We got to understand something that we're not made to just sit on the pews. We ain't made to just sit on those little uh, chairs right there. God called us as servants. You got to be doing something. Take your neighbor, be doing something. Be doing something. Be doing something. In the kingdom. We're so busy. We're so busy. 
being about everything but God's business. Amen. I ain't gonna get no amens right there. Amen. We're so busy. Yes. We ain't never got no time to pray. Yes. We ain't never got no time to read about. Yes. We ain't got no worship experience no more. Because everybody's too busy. Yes. Come on, ask your neighbor, are you busy? Yes. I'm not too busy for God. Yes. Obedience is better than sex. trying to do our own thing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You're going to miss them. Trying to do your thing. Y'all know the song, it's your thing, do what you want to do. Uh-huh, I can't tell you. Y'all too saved for me. Y'all act like y'all ain't never heard that before. Uh-huh, that's how y'all think. Yeah, I, it's my gift. I can do what I want to do. If I don't want to sing, they ain't going to make me sing. If I don't want to uh, rap, they ain't nobody going to make me rap. It's my I can do what I want to do with it. But I'm here to tell you that God gave you that gift. And if he gave it to you, he can take it from you. Ain't nobody saying amen right there. We don't got so comfortable with doing what we want to do. But we don't forget about God. God ain't in your life like he should be. Because everything you're doing is outside of the will. Oh, I ain't gonna get no amen right there. Ooh, ain't nobody saying amen. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. I got to get out of here. We got to go because my stomach don't start Amen. Right 